Inside Northeast Racing is brought to you by the New York State Stock Car Association, Gene Cole's Utica Rome Speedway, RCT Roofing, the Rooftop Shuffler, Joel Mearns, Jack's Use Race Car Parts and More, and our friends at Dirt Track Digest. Welcome to this week's edition of Inside Northeast Racing. We start out with a little glimpse of the antique racers on the asphalt at Airborne Speedway. Here's a look at the midweek action from last week's Twin 50s at Utica Rome Speedway in ROC fashion. Mike Mallett and Shane Andrews bring you the call. Brett Hearn, Mike Mahaney ready to put the foot to the firewall and turn this field loose. But as I got to ask you, race fans, as they work off of turn number four, ladies and gentlemen, who? coming on and no start. Want to try it again? No. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> off of turn number four. Brett better, Hearn, Mike Mahaney. Your better luck. Bringing it off the corner. Green lights are on. We start the charge to turn number one. And Mahaney right there. And Willie Decker, four wide into turn number one and two. Decker, Hearn, Shepard, and Friesen. Meanwhile, leader Mike Mahaney brings it off a of corner number four. The Skip Seymour owns Skip Racing number four car on cruise control right now here on lap number six. And here it comes Friesen now. Friesen slammed that door on Shepard. And now Jimmy Davis looks up through the middle. Davis going to take over third from Shepard as they come off the turn. Friesen going to stay with him. Friesen going to look to the outside and it turns number one and two. And maybe a little contact, a little rub there through turns number one and two. And now Shepard's to the inside looking for the number two spot. Mahaney looks to power back by Mahaney. Now leads him into turn three. As the 9S man Shepard right there for position number four. As Larry White gets by him and Todd Burley is on the move. He started 14th and the tornado is up to the five spot. Through the corner, freezing all over Mike Mahaney. Mahaney drifts up off the turn. He'll lead him. Freezing on the back bumper. It's a three-car battle off the turn. Willie Decker stuck his nose in under of Lawbach, but it will be Burley with the edge in the corner number three. Hearn pushing the envelope. He'll shoot to the inside. Three wide. It's a Brett Hearn uh, sandwich as they head into turn number one. one. First of the two 50 lappers here tonight for the ROC Modifieds, and Stuart Friesen is going to win it. Second will be Matt Shepard. Third, coming down to the line, will be Lightning Larry White. Fourth spot, RJ grabs fourth, Mahaney fifth. Sue, all right. congratulations. You know, just like it's been all year long here, you win it. Matt Shepard comes home in second, but hey, five grand winning this first feature event. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Matt's going to be tough in the second one. We've been a little bit better in the, when, the, when the track's got a little bit more bite in it, so uh, we're going to have to adjust on it because it was skating there a little bit at the end, but uh, what a way to start out. Um, Great points tonight for us for the ROC. It's uh, we, we were off on the right foot, so um, we'll make, adjust on a little bit and uh, try as hard as we can for this second one. But boy, this feels good. Five grand and a bonus from the New York State Stock Car Association. So with the inversion of twelve, they work down into turns number three and four. I'll ask you for a second time tonight as they go green, ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Brooks, who. Let's find out off a of corner number two is RJ trying to keep the Stuart Friesen number one behind him, but it's Rick Walbach. Scooby's found a snack up on the top side. Rick Walbach running in second. The doctor right there in position number two as Pat Ward third feeling the pressure now from the Jimmy Phelps number 98H through turns number one and two. Mike Bowman out of Baldwinsville, New York. Solid run for him riding back there in fifth. Matt Shepard is sixth. The doctor, can he throw the slider off a of corner number four? Doesn't need to, as he has the advantage by a bumper into turn number one. So Danny Johnson looks to get to the inside and take over the lead, and he will do so. That puts Lawbach back. As Jimmy Phelps is still right there hounding the 42P of Pat Ward. 
for a runner-up finish here tonight. Matt Shepard still back there in position number four. And they need to get up and race with Danny Johnson. So they're fighting amongst themselves, and that's allowing the doctor to pull away. Yeah, Danny Johnson, two points. But it's going to be off a of corner number four out of Rochester, New York. The doctor, Danny Johnson, wins it. Jimmy Phelps second. Shepard is third. Mahaney is fourth. McCready is fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, he is climbing out of the car. Give him a nice round of applause, your feature winner, the Dr. Danny Johnson. Caution comes out, one lap to go in that race. What goes through your mind on the restart? Well, I just kind of couldn't believe it. I just wanted it over with, but uh, it, was, it, was, it, was, uh, it was a good hard run. So we were able to maintain the front. I don't know, you know how close they were behind me, but... Uh, it, it, it was running good. I had no stumbles or anything, so it, this was a you know a picture perfect day for me. The Niska Weekly winners from Utica Rome's midweek program were Danny Johnson, Stuart Friesen, and Dave Marcacelli. Our cameras traveled to the North Country this past Saturday. Here's an introduction to the Airborne Speedway by Ricky St. Clair followed by his call of the late model feature event. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Airborne Park Speedway in Plattsburgh, New York. My name is Ricky St. Clair. I'm a contributing correspondent for VTMotorMag.com. We welcome you to the Plattsburgh, New York Half Mile Airborne Speedway in its 60th season of operation here in the North Country. It's a progressively banked half mile. The track was recently um, paved, repaved in 2009. They complete compete excuse me weekly on Saturday nights at 6 p.m. there are five divisions and a couple of them are unique especially to those who watch dirt car racing in central New York and the southern tier of the state the dirt car modifieds headline the five weekly divisions here at the half mile and yes they compete on the asphalt surface we'll see them a little bit later on tonight they'll go 35 laps and below them is their support division the sportsman modifieds also known as budget sportsman crate sportsman they run those crate engines they have their own division they'll also go 25 they'll go 25 laps later tonight and then we have the full fender divisions the limited late models uh, it, it, for those who have gone to New England like Thunder Road International Speed Bowl and Barry uh, different tracks throughout the Northeast they have Tiger Sportsman well these are very similar uh, a little bit more souped up very close to that of an American Canadian tour late model that competes in New England then we have our Renegade division it's a V8 class with Chevrolet Monte Carlo bodies they they just uh, completed their feature Jason McClatchy, a 21-year-old driver from Plattsburgh, New York, collected his fifth checkered flag of the season. Uh, that puts him third all-time uh, with the most wins in the division's history. That dates back to 1997. They always put on an excellent show, arguably the best weekly division here at the racetrack. And also, we have a four-cylinder class, the Mini Modifieds. Yes, they look similar to that of you know the, the dirt car modifieds or the sports and modifieds who compete here weekly uh, they had a made up feature a makeup feature from last week uh, they were first on the card and they will go last in tonight's racing program but we're glad you can join us here at airborne park speedway in plattsburgh new york i'm ricky st Clair. make sure to check out vtmotormag.com again that's vtmotormag.com for all the racing action from throughout the northeast we do feature stories race recaps uh Sometimes we'll do commentary. We'll do our own editorials. So make sure to check out that if you're a racing enthousi enthusiast here in the Northeast. And uh, we hope you're enjoying tonight's program. Dave Rabtoy from Swan, Vermont on the inside. It's Danny Sullivan of Morrisonville, New York on the outside. Sullivan, a two-time feature winner here in 2013. The field of limited late models make their way around turns three and four and down the front stretch. Green flag! Sullivan with a great jump on the outside line. The 22-year-old driver from Morrisville, New York, solidifies himself in the top spot as the field races down the back shoe. But Buck O'Branham dives to the bottom and gets him sideways as they race out of turn number four. Sullivan, your leader. Here comes Buck O'Branham, the 25-plus year veteran from Plattsburgh, New York, and former two-time track champion of this division, makes his way to the runner-up spot. Sullivan leads lap number three, and here comes Branham. Door slamming and turns one and two. Wood gets to the bottom, but Bigor hangs on on the top side of the racetrack as they head down the back shoe. 
Side by side battle for third. Robin Wood on the inside. Jamie Beagle on the outside. Saturday night shootout for the third spot. Wood takes third on last seven. Flagman Richie Peterson. A flagman also full time at Albany Saratoga Speedway. Warns Branham in the 20 car. Sullivan in the three. Branham in the 20. Branham looks to the low side once again. But Sullivan shuts the door as they race off the fourth turn. And just 22 years old on the outside. Side by side. Saturday night shootout for the top spot on lap number 15. Robin Wood remains to follow Branham's tire tracks. He tries to get the second spot but can't make it stick. Wood gets into Sullivan and one and two. Sullivan holds on, washes up the racetrack. Wood goes to the bottom. Sullivan goes off the back shoot. Robin Wood now goes to the outside, maybe attempting another slingshot again. Branham out front, Robin Wood in second. Danny Sullivan in the three and Jamie Bebor in the 19 go side by side for the third spot. Dylan Paye running in the 07, he's in fifth. When they make their way down the start finish line, there will be two laps to go. Caution flag is out. Casey St. Clair around in the number 56 in turn number two. A checkered restart about to ensue. Branham on the inside. Robin Wood on the outside. The field bunches up. Down the front stretch. Green flag. Robin Wood with a great jump on the outside of the yellow 61. But Branham looks to wash him up the racetrack. Look out. Paye. Underwood off the top of turn two. Underwood into the jersey barrier. Sullivan also off the racetrack on the back shoe. Richie Peterson, the newly acquired flagman, who also flags weekly at Albany Saratoga and Speedway in Malta, New York says, we're going green next time by. Buckle Branham in the 20. His nephew, Robin Wood, flanked to his outside in the yellow number 61. Branham and Wood, Wood and Branham, side by side. Uncle leading nephew. Here they come out of turn number four. White flag is out. Saturday night shootout down the back stretch. Here they come. One final time in turns three and four. Branham washes Wood high. He'll win it. Bucko Branham wins. Robin Wood second. Jimmy Bigor third. Danny Sullivan fourth. Jamie Braftoy fifth. Rick Paya. Oh, Wood is not happy with Branham. Bucko Branham, the uncle of Robin Wood, not happy. All right, here he is. Give a nice round of applause for everybody. Fifth win for Bucko Branham. Now to Mike Mallett with an interview of one of the hot shoes from the Accord and Orange County Fair Speedways, Tommy Meyer. We're standing here right now with our winner here last Friday night at the Accord Speedway, Tommy Meyer. And Tommy, Accord Speedway regular here in 2013. Couple wins, things not going too bad for you. No, things are going pretty good. We like it here. Uh, first year really running here at all. And, uh, you know, we like the environment. We like the management. Track conditions are real good. And it's real racy. We like it. I know you're a longtime Orange County faithful driver. What's it like to, to run on the hard clay on Saturday, you know, and then, you got, then you're here on Friday nights? Two totally different styles of racing. Well, yeah, I think there was a little adjustment for that. You know, here it happens real fast, and, uh, you know, car's real sideways, and you're really, really hustling the car around a lot. But uh, we're getting the hang of it, you know. Another adjustment you're making there, the sail panels. Has that changed a lot for you? You know, some guys really love sail panels. Other guys, they just, they're not fans. I don't even know if I notice a difference, really, because I haven't raced here much without them. So I really wouldn't uh, be able to comment much. You know, I know we were here a couple times last year, but they, they allowed them when we were here. And uh, so I really don't know, you know, when you come here without them, what it's going to be like. Let's talk a little bit about Orange County. Feature win down at the Orange County Fair Speedway. How good or how tough is it going for you down there? We've been having a, a tougher year at Orange County. We got a feature win there. We got to start up front. Uh, but, you know, the, the handicap system they have in place, I'm not really a fan of. It's not... Uh, it's not friendly to the Saturday Night Racer, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, we've been struggling a little bit to find a good setup, but uh, we're, we're close. You got a couple weeks left down there at Orange County. How important is it now the next few weeks to find that setup, considering the big money on the line at the end of the year for Eastern States? Yeah, well, at this point, that's what it's all about. Um, you know, we're like fourth or something in track points, and there's really no money there. So it's finding something that's going to work uh, for the 200, you know? How important is the 200? And what would it mean to you to win it? 200's a big race, you know, it's, uh, it's the biggest race we've ever, well, we've been in Syracuse also, but at our home track and our, our thing there, uh, 
It would be big. We've been close a couple of times, but uh, the pit stop is tough. You know, getting through that, and then you're in heavy traffic after that, keeping everything, uh, you know, straight and uh, and aligned seems to be the trick. Come back here to Accord. You know, tonight you got to start a little bit deeper. You know, thanks to the, to the handicapping. What what's the plan tonight? How how are you going to take it to the front? Oh, the plan is tonight again. Keep it out of trouble, but uh, there's no time to waste here. You know, things happen real fast, and uh, just uh, find a way through. Hey, best of luck to you. Thanks very much. Again, for Inside Northeast Racing, my name's Mike Mallett. It's time for the Rooftop Shufflers. Here's Joe Burns. Burns. <laughs> Rose still up to the outside. He'll work the top side very gingerly as he works down the front straightaway. Ralph Rock back here, it's bottom. The flag will fly for the third time in 2013. It comes to John Rose. Ralph Rock is second. So uh, we got another feature event plus heat races here tonight for you guys. Uh, any thoughts on uh, hopefully how things will go? Well, I'm going to try like hell to win them both. As my good buddy Scooter once said, they're going to go racing. Rose now up to the outside. Rock's still your race leader. Rose is second. As Rose works the top side. Rock trying to hang on at a number one position. And Rose all over Ralph Rock like a bad rash. He's got a good run coming off at turn number four. Rock shuts the door on him. It goes to Ralph Rock. John Rose is second. I'll tell you what, way to keep those points tight. John took the first one, you had to take the second one. Just six points separate you guys. Three weeks left to go, but a win here nonetheless is still got to feel pretty darn good. Oh yeah, it feels real good. You know, we can't let them have it easy, so we're out here to, you know, get, make it as tough as we can. Other weekly winners from this past weekend's action presented by the New York State Stock Car Association are at the Orange County Fair Speedway, it was Mike Vigiletti Craig Mitchell, Anthony Perego, and Chuck McKee. At Lebanon Valley Speedway, it was Matt Cross, John Filarecki, Jay Casey, Frank Twing, Keith Flack, and Tyler Dipple. Thanks again to Jack's Used Race Car Parts and more for all the support here in 2013. Now back to the Ulster County Bull Ring for the modified action. Here's Joel Mearns and his guest announcer, Mike Mallett, with the call of the race. To go green flag racing. Calling the action here tonight with me, Mike Mallett. Here we come at a turn number four. We're getting it down into turns number one and two right now. Rohawk going to the number one spot. Then it's a lead back there in position number two. Tommy Meyer, Ricky Tyler right there together as they battle for that number three position. Off the corner first time around. Rohawk leads the way. Here comes Elliott down to the inside looking for the number one spot. So Rohawk hangs on to it at least for the moment. But back to the inside Here comes Elliott looking for that spot up with turn number two. Can't quite get it done along the back stretch. They'll take it into turn number three. Slide job coming. Little contact. New leader off of four. It down the back stretch as they go into number three turn. Hang on, we've got one around in turn three and four. Double down in turn number two. Mike Doty goes around. So through the quarter they work now as Mike he challenges Elliott to the inside. A little contact there as they go down into turns number three and four. Here comes Bacchetti now on the outside. Bacchetti making a run. Gazi down to the inside, pulling down in the middle, and there goes Mike Ricky up to the number one spot. Donnie Elliott back in spot number two in the wild child. Andy Bacchetti starting to come alive back in spot number Three. Rohop way up the banking. Brown going to slide up in front. He now takes over for That puts Rohop back to fifth. Six now is about. Now McKetty and Brown get together, and Brown's going to go around. Three car battle now for the lead as Creighton sticks the nose underneath, but it's going to be Mike Ricky holding on to position number one. Creighton looking to gain some ground on this Boyce chase as he is back in the number three position. Ricky Brown, maybe. For a little bit of contact there. Jackie Brown, he has been strong on the inside of the speedway. He took a look to the inside of Meyer off of two. Now he'll dive down on the bottom and turns number three and four. Meyer keeps it up on the outside. They run rub rail to rub rail down the home stretch into two. 
the wild time down the back stretch the turns number three and four. Mike Rickey gonna bring it off the corner and Mike Rickey gonna pick up the victory. Second will go to Daniel and third to Creedon. Fourth will be Perego. Fifth to Jackie Brown. Hey, with a very happy, mighty Mike Rickey. Mike Mallett, take it away. Mike, congratulations. Job well done here tonight at the Accord Speedway. How good does it feel to be back in victory lane? Well, it took a long, long time. I drove for a lot of teams, had a lot of good cars. Me and my nephew this year, Jimmy Wells, we went out and bought the car from De Lorenzo. We put it together in the, in the garage all winter long, and this has been a fast fast race car all year. It's just that we just needed some break and you know some good luck. And tonight it all finally fell in line. Take us through the battle there with Donnie Elliott. You get the lead from him. He did not let it go, though. He kept battling the underneath, 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 applied the pressure the entire way. Yeah, I, I had to run the top because um, I got a small engine in the car, and uh, I knew if I let him get the bottom on me, he was just going to power around the top. So I had to just move up top and keep it rolling. And uh, we picked an excellent tire tonight. Everything worked good for him. Eckhord's weekly winners presented by the New York State Stock Car Association were John Rose, David Cooney, Ray Tarantino, Zach Bennett, Mike Rickey, Michael Sabia, and Ralph Ronk. Back north to Plattsburgh for the modified feature event from Airborne Speedway. From Drummondville, Quebec is Eric Lossier and Andy Lindemann is driving the Nick Haywood 29 tonight for points in the 358 feature event. Green flag is out. Out front it is the three of Chris Vernal. Vernal from Kingsbury, New York, hopping on board that three machine. A gaggle of cars through turns one and two. Craig Rio pushed up the track that collected the 25 of VN. Here comes Todd Stone slicing through on the inside. Todd Stone goes to third with the G-Stone Motors machine. Out front it is the Dawson's Body Shop three of Chris Vernal. Stone to the inside of Roger Labrèche. He'll power through on the inside. Todd Stone takes the second spot. A 100 Labrèche now back to third. Roger Labrèche in the 100 trying to hold off Patrick Dupree. Meanwhile, George Foley's flying. Oh, look out! There goes the CO2 of Craig Riel. Max Vien in the 25 goes spinning into the infield. Riel does a spin and roll as he keeps driving away from that. Vernold down on the inside. Vernold with a nose in front. Here comes Stone. Stone on the top of the racetrack trying to take the lead going to three and four. Drives around the three car. He's got the lead going to the fourth turn. Down the front stretch, Todd Stone with a winning move. He's your new leader. Contact right behind, just inside the top 10. Craig Riel having a rough ride. Jesse Mueller trying to come through. Pat McGrail was also there with a one. He's all over the track. Chris Vernold holding off Patrick Dupree for now. But Dupree trying to dig underneath and get that spot. Lap by lap, gaining on it. He's got it now. Patrick Dupree has gone to second. Over the 24 of Patrick Dupree. Leon Gagneau now sizing up Chris Vernold for third. Gagneau. Takes his Troyer down to the inside of turn number four, and he'll drive away along the front stretch. He's got third. Todd Stone with a near full backstretch advantage over the 24 of Patrick Dupree. He has been the dominant car since week number one back at the start of May as he works through turns three and four. Todd Stone is the 2013 Ernie's Discount Tools Dirt Car Modified 358 track champion. Patrick Dupree second, third Leon Gagneau, fourth Jesse Mueller, fifth. Back to back track championships in this division is a real accomplishment. You should be really proud of that. I know you share it with the team. Yes, I'm very proud of it. All the guys work very hard on the car every week. 
we got to get a positive attitude. Uh, you know, we got a good team. And, you know, I've been racing since I was 20 years old. I'm 45 now. This is actually only my uh, third championship. And, you know, it, it feels pretty good. Now we go west to the Utica Rome Speedway for this past Sunday night's modified feature. Here's track announcer Mike Mallett with the call of the race. As I ask you here each and every Sunday night, who's it going to be? So we're get up through turns, one and two down the back straight away. It will be AJ Slideways, Outland Johnson, taking over the number one position as they swing it off the west end, lap number one. Here comes Jimmy Davis, feature winner here this season. He's to the inside of the number 14J. That's the battle for the number one position as they race off at turn number four. To the inside comes Davis, and Jimmy Davis has the lead by a bumper over Alan Johnson. Now they're four wide off at turn number two. Shepard down on the inside, Brian Phelps up on the outside, and Phelps able to sneak by, and Phelps going to get a couple of positions now as they go into turn number three. Off the turn two, the three wide for the lead down the back straight away. Davis leads him through the corner. He's your leader off a of turn number four. Off a of turn four, Friesen, Shepard, they stay north the tail on the bottom, everybody else up there on the high side. Way to get will go to the outside. Shepard knows he's got to stay with Friesen. He cannot let Friesen get too far in front. Into three and four. Friesen works it up to the outside of Mahaney. Mahaney stays down low. Payne drifts up off the bottom. That might allow Mahaney to sneak in there, and Friesen gets into the side of Elvin Payne as they came down to the line. Into three and four for the final time. Comes your leader looking to pick up the victory. Off the corner, your modified feature winner, the 41 of Jimmy Davis coming home in second, the 42P of Pat Ward. Third will go to the number one, WG Sams to a freeze of Mahaney. Fourth, fifth to Matt Shepard. How about a hand, ladies and gentlemen, your modified feature winner, driver the 41, Jimmy Davis. Tough night, Wednesday night in the Twin 50s, but tonight, no problems at all. This thing was fast. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, first, I got to thank my, uh, my crew and my my car owner, Tom Sanford. Uh, man, we've been struggling with our big block program, and uh, I got to thank Bobby Hearn, too, for giving us a real good hot ride here. We switched from Troyer to uh, TO chassis here about three weeks ago, and really haven't caught a break. We've been able to work the bugs out of it, obviously, tonight. We've been fast with it. We just haven't been able to finish a race. So uh, I got to thank everyone involved. We've been working our tails off, and this is a good time of the year to start rolling. So uh, looking forward to next weekend. Let's stay right at the Vernon Oval. Here's the Utica Rome Sportsman feature event from this past Sunday night. The rain lights come on. We go racing off the number four corner. Into turns number one and two they go. Barker on the high side of the speedway. He'll grab the number one position. Barker had the lead there. I'll get that one for you. So Barker maintains position number one by a nose. Now they come three wide off of turn number two. The battle for the lead is Barker, Phil Beck, and Mackey. Mackey right there on the inside. He'll tuck down low again. They'll stay three wide as they go through corners number three and four. Off the turn, completing lap number three. It's Barker, Phil Beck, and Mackey down on the inside. Mackey now going to pull up. Heath Carney, the birthday boy in car number 80. He's watching that battle transpire right in front of him. Hope there for fourth, and now up to fifth, the 33X of Matt Jancic as they come off of four. Through the middle, now up to the outside, to the checkered flag comes your winner. It is the A1 of A.J. Philbeck. Second, we'll go to Jeremy Vunk. Third to the 33X of Matt Jancic. Fourth to the 3M of Chris Mackey, and fifth falls to the 42C of Craig Pope. Sportsman winner, he's out of the car. Give him a round of applause, A.J. Philbeck. A.J., congratulations. Win number two here at the Unicrome Speedway. It's always got to feel good. Yeah, we've been working hard for a couple years now to at least get one, uh, more than one in a season, and finally we did it, and uh, we put a lot of hard work into it. Um, it just feels good to get a second one in a, one year. The Utica Rome Weekly Winners presented by Niska, A.J. Philbeck, 
Tommy Denton, Jimmy Davis, and Ricky Breed. Albany Saratoga Speedway held triple 20s for the Modifieds this past Friday night. Mike Warren and I bring you the call in all three in a row. The green flag as Rich Peterson has it off the corner. Green flag is out on the speedway. We're underway. Up into turn number one and two for the first time. Chris Booster going to maintain the race lead off the corner. Jimmy Contra going to sit in the number two spot. Car with the biggest jump down the back straightaway. Might be the 7 11 of Jamike Soul. Soul going to make his way in the outside lane that he used very heavily here in the first qualifying event. He's now up to the top four. A four machine of Rich Rock. are going to duck back a spot now as Chris Booster runs with the race lead as they head down off a turn number three and four. That time, Soul going to get the jump on him as Jamike Soul will go to the race lead as he takes the green. Up in the turn number one and two, Cotts are going to try to fight back on the inside lane, but Jamike Soul has gone to the front as they make their way down the back straightaway. This time by, Cotts are going to dig to the inside lane once again as we'll see the halfway side. 10 are in, 10 remain for the 7 11 of Jamike Soul. They had a minute turn number one and two for the final time. Half a straightaway lead for Soul. He'll power down through turn number three and four. Checkered flag is going to be out. Jamike Soul picks up triple 20 win number one. Second will be Jimmy Contro going across the line. Third will be Brian Gleason. Fourth, Cody Bellinger. And rounding out your top five, Jeremy Wilder. Three side by side in row nine. C.G. Morey with a 14. And Matt DePue in the 667 as we go green down to turn number one. Side by side, they work up here through the corner down the back straightaway as they make their way down to turn number three. It's going to be Neil Stratton showing the way in the 87 car. Down here off of turn number four, he will put lap number one on the board. Stratton, your leader, working there in second is Don Rocca, the elder of the two racing Rocca brothers as they make their way down the back straightaway. He will restart just outside the top ten as we get ready to go back to green. Green is out. Down to turn number one, they go. Rock up on the outside, going to lead the way down here to turn number one. Keith Flack on the inside, going to nose ahead. Down the back straightaway. It's Flack on the inside, Rock on the outside as they come down off of turn number four. Keith Flack is now taking the number one spot. Flack here, leader. Rock arrives second. He has now got Kenny Tremont to fend off. Tremont close in tow. Back there in fourth spot will be the 3D of Matt DiLorenzo. Don Ronca continuing to round out your top five. Checkered flag is up. The Ravina Rocket has launched his way to victory lane here. Keith Flack picks up the win. Coming home in the runner-up position will be the 3J of Mark Johnson. Coming home third is the 115 of Kenny Tremont. Fourth spot is the 3D of Matt DiLorenzo, and rounding out your top five is the seven of Don Ronca. That is going to be the way your top five finish here in event number two. For the feature number three, ready to go green as they come down off of turn number four. It's going to be Jimmy Cottrell in the number eight car, going to lead the way down across the line to turn number one. The Sunny D sponsored number eight car t shirt graphics back to entry, going to lead the way down the back straightaway. But now, Stuart Friesen going to take it in deep up to turn number three. They race off turn number four, door to door down off the corner at the line. It's still Jimmy Cottrell, but when they hit turn one, it's going to be the Canadian sensation up on. On the high side, Stuart Friesen taking the Jeff Daly and Son number 44 to the number one position. Friesen will lead him down off a of corner number four. Jimmy Cottrell riding second. Brian Gleason back there in third as they go down into turn number one. Up through the corner they come. Now the Johnson and Johnson show back here for position. That's for spot number three. RJ in the 76. Mark in the 3J. Johnson third and fourth. Back in this spot is the 87 of Neil Stratton. Down through turn three and four. Coming up off the corner for the final time. Stuart Friesen looking for the first checker of 2013 in a modified. Friesen will get the victory. Jimmy Castle comes home second. Third spot goes to Ronnie Johnson. Mark Johnson will finish fourth. And Neil Stratton rounds out your top five. Congratulations go to Jimmy Cottrell as Cottrell picks up the overall combined win. Cottrell with the best of the three finishes of the Triple 20s. Congratulations to Jimmy Cottrell for the victory. The New York State Stock Car Association weekly winners from Albany Saratoga Speedway on Friday night were Jamike Soul, Pete Jeske, 
Dan Older, Mike Ostrander, Stuart Friesen, and Keith Flack. Next up, we go to the Glen Ridge Motorsports Park for the modified main event. Here's Josh Phillips with the call. Line up, and as they come off of turn number four, Green is out and in the air. They race it off of turn number four down to the stripe, down into turn number one. Side by side battle for the number two spot as Price, the odd man out, loses one more spot as here comes Reckner to thread the needle down to the inside. Varen up to the number three spot as he works down to the inside of Savoy. Down the front stretch into turn number one and two. Your race leader going down the back stretch is Bobby Vetter with two laps in the book right now. Make it three this time off of turn number four. So three laps in. And Varen looking for the runner-up spot. Savoy and Varen side by side. Is Varen now going to get to the inside? Keep Bobby Varen in the rearview mirror, but the great equalizer lap traffic coming ahead right there ahead is you've got Aaron Jacobs running the inside line with Ketchum out on the outside right there ahead of them, the 816 of Jeff Rockefeller. And Vetter slips up the hill. Here comes Bobby Varen down to the inside. Side by side they race. Varen trying to get up to the outside. Vetter going to power right back around with the lap traffic right there, but Varen helping the 16 down the front stretch into turn number one and two. Caution lights are out as we've four more. More left-hand turns, make it three, now make it two. Bobby Varon out of turn number two down the back stretch, trying to visit victory lane one more time. Into turn number three, out of turn number four. Checkered flag is in the air. Bobby Varon picking up the win. Second goes to Elmo Reckner, third to Craig Hansen, fourth. Bobby Vetter, fifth, will be the five of Savoy. Richie Price hangs on for sixth. Up there in his 40s now. Your weekly winners at the Ridge this past weekend, presented by the New York State Stock Car Association, are Don Foltz, Brad Scardelli, Kenny Hollenbeck, Bobby Varon, Rocky Warner, and Billy Jaycox. One last trip back up to Plattsburgh. Here's the sportsman feature from Airborne this past Saturday night. Ready to go, 25 laps the distance tonight for the Sportsman Modified. Here they come off the fourth turn, Broderick leads them, green, flag is out. Good jump on the outside for the Huntley trucking number one of Jake Branham. Oh boy, look out! Branham takes about six spins down the back stretch, Aubin goes spinning. He takes the lead off the restart and through turns one and two leads him down the back stretch. The 24 of Susie trying to thread the needle on the top. Really working the rim in that 24 car. Cody Aubin rejoins at the tail end of the field as well. Outside the R7 of Lonnie Rivers. Three wide down the back stretch, almost four wide. There goes Mike Finney. There goes Mike Finney. He slams into the G-Stone Commercial Division tire barrier. Lonnie Rivers in the R7 from the outside. Takes the lead off of turn number two. Problems for Jake Branham in the Huntley trucking number one. He's going to take that car back to the garage area. Problems on the left front. Lonnie Rivers in the R7 with a good start down on the bottom, but look at Nick Haywood go on the top of the racetrack. Lonnie's car was not that great down on the bottom in one and two. Nick Haywood vaulted to the top through one and two, punched it down the back stretch and completes the pass through three and four. New leader, Nick Haywood. Rivers runs second. Susie is third. Fourth is the 46 of Little Joe Daniels, and look out. Joe, little Joe comes down in front of Mark Lamberton. Nick Haywood in the Budweiser, Warren Tire, TNB Medals number 29, picks up his third win of the year tonight, and also will pick up another track championship. Here he comes, Nick Haywood wins it. Lonnie Rivers second, third Chris Susie, fourth Mark Lamberton. Fifth's gonna go to Rick Doner. The Niska Weekly winners from Airborne Speedway are Rob Clark, Jason McClatchy, Buck O'Branham, Todd Stone, and Nick Haywood. You've been watching Inside Northeast Racing, sponsored by the New York State Stock Car Association, Gene Cole's Utica Rome Speedway, RCT Roofing, Bobco Video, Northeast Racing Videos, the Rooftop Shuffler, Joel Mearns, Jack Hughes Race Car Parts and more, and our friends from Dirt Track Digest. Now ah, what the heck.
Let's go back to Airborne for the Mini Modifieds as we roll the credits. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Inside Northeast Racing. For Shane Andrews, Mike Mallett, Joel Mearns, Josh Phillips, Ricky St. Clair, and Mike Warren, this is Dan Martin saying, see you next time. Inside Northeast Racing is a Northeast Racing Videos production. <laughs>